Not only do I have leopard print jacket, I have leopard print dining room chairs. Hey folks, it's Carrie from Pretty Neat. Thanks for joining me. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. I share videos here every week about organizing and decluttering your home and adopting a minimalist mindset. So I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and stick around. I have a fun video for you today. I'm going to be talking about solutions for some annoying things around your home. These are generally minor annoyances, but I think anything that we can do to make our lives at home a little more relaxing, a little bit easier, is all worth putting some time and energy into. The first thing that I want to talk about that can be really annoying is storing and folding fitted sheets. People ask me about this a lot and fitted sheets are really not that difficult to deal with, but you kind of have to understand how to fold them effectively. Basically, you want to get them to a point where they're pretty much flat, like the way your flat sheet folds really nicely. And the way I do that is I line up the corners and I kind of slide the corners into one another on all four sides. And then I bring the two halves together and again, fold the corner inside of itself. And then that way I can lay it out flat and fold it more normally like the flat sheet. And it just fits well in my linen closet and I don't have this big jumbled mess of a fitted sheet that I often see in people's homes. This next thing is something that has annoyed me for a really long time and it never really occurred to me to try to figure out a solution. I have my TV set up on this large piece of furniture and underneath I have um, a power strip, I have my modem and my router. All of these things sit underneath this cabinet, which is up on legs, and the lights on these things are so bright, especially at night, they're like blinding. And I don't really understand why manufacturers make these with lights that are like, you know, you can see them from a mile away. I think it's really unnecessary, but for whatever reason, a lot of these small types of uh, technology items or sometimes our kitchen appliances, they have lights on them and they're so bright. I started thinking, well, what can I do about this? And I actually found on Amazon, they make these sets of stickers that you can stick over the light. Some of them allow you to still see a bit of the light through them and some are more opaque. I will link to these products down below. I decided that I probably could figure this out without buying anything. I am a paper crafter and I have a lot of washi tape. If you're not familiar with washi tape, it's basically a decorative tape that's used for crafting purposes. It has an adhesive on it that is not super strong. It's kind of like the adhesive on a post-it note. So it will adhere clearly to paper and to other surfaces, but you can also peel it off really easily as well. So I have a ton of washi tape that I use for crafting and I decided I could just use this on the lights and get rid of these bright, annoying lights. And so that's what I did. I ended up using a few layers of this tape on my router and my modem, and it's worked really great. I also have used a couple pieces of this on my microwave because again, the clock display on my microwave is so bright and it's also blue. And I really try to be aware in the evenings of reducing my exposure to blue light. I just think it helps me fall asleep better. And one of the things is, you know, I usually am in the kitchen either cleaning up or, you know, making a cup of tea or whatever. And there's that blue light like shining in my eyes. It's probably not a huge deal, but it's just more pleasant for it to not be so bright at night. So this is a really easy fix. If you have washi tape sitting around, you can use that. 
Like I said, there are products made specifically for this purpose of covering up these annoying lights. I'll link to those down below. Also, any other tape that you have, maybe electrical tape would work well for this. It's up to you whether the look of this fits in with your aesthetic. You might not want washi tape on your microwave. I don't really care. This is a solution that has worked great for me and has just made my evenings in my home a little more pleasant without having to look at those bright LED lights. A lot of us are moving away from plastic bags, the plastic grocery bags, and I know in my area stores have stopped giving them out. However, many of us have accumulated a lot of these bags over the years. You might have that bag of bags in your pantry or somewhere in your kitchen. And if so, you know that this can be kind of a mess. It takes up a lot of space and there is a better way to store these plastic single use bags. And I'm gonna show you how. Basically, you take the bag and lay it as flat as possible, getting some of the wrinkles out, and then you fold it in half lengthwise. Then you're gonna fold it in half again, so it makes this long strip. And then starting from the bottom of the bag, you're gonna fold it up into this triangle shape. And once you've done this a few times, it becomes really easy. You fold the whole thing up into this little triangle, and then you take the end and you sort of tuck it inside. And it creates this little triangle of plastic bag and it just takes up very little space. It kind of condenses the bag and it's easy to keep these in a basket or a container or something. I also like this little folding technique if I wanna keep a couple of these in the car or keep one in the purse that I take when I'm out, just in case I need a plastic bag for something, this is an easy way to do it. Now, I don't know about you, but I use gloves when I wash dishes. Comment down below and let me know. Are you a dishwashing glove person or do you think that's kind of silly? Anyway, I have a weird issue with like getting my hands in the dishwater. I just think it's kind of gross. So I use gloves both for washing dishes and for cleaning but I don't like having them sitting out. They just look messy. They're not really cute. And I also wanted a solution where I could have them stretched out so that they would dry when I was done. This is the solution I came up with. I had some extra 3M adhesives. These are the type that are removable. And I stuck one onto the back of a chip clip and then I stuck the other side of that into the inside of my kitchen cabinet. This is the cabinet that sits right underneath my sink, so it's close by where I wanna use these gloves. And I love this solution because I can get the gloves out of sight, but I can also hang them up, so if they're a little bit damp still when I'm putting them away, they will dry. I think it extends the life of the gloves and it just allows me to put them away not have them sitting out where they look messy on the countertop. The final annoying thing that I wanna talk about are things sliding around in your drawers. So I'm all about adding dividers inside of drawers to help organize them, but unless the dividers fit perfectly and fill the entire space inside the drawer, you will find that as you open and close your drawer, the stuff will move around. There is drawer liner that you can buy that is kind of rubberized. Personally, I find that that stuff doesn't really do the trick and oftentimes it will get bunched up as well as the things in the drawers move around and it just adds to the annoyance of the things moving around in the drawers. There are a couple solutions here. You can purchase this tacky stuff that you can actually place on the bottom of your drawer dividers and it kind of helps to keep things in place, it sticks to the bottom of the divider and then it sticks to the inside of the drawer. I'm all about finding solutions that don't cost any money. So I keep a few extra little boxes around from electronics, from checks, stuff like that. The easiest thing for me is to just add an extra box or something that will fit and fill that space in the back Usually, unless you have drawers that pull all the way out, 
that area of the drawer, the last few inches, is pretty much inaccessible anyway. So I can just slide a couple little empty boxes back there and it just helps to keep everything pushed forward and it means that the things inside the drawer are not sliding around when I open and close them. I wanna wrap up today's video by mentioning my online course. It's called Too Much Stuff and it will help you if you are middle-aged or beyond and you are trying to declutter and organize your home. I have partnered with Nicole Christina on this course. She is a experienced psychotherapist. She's been doing that for about 30 years and she brings her expertise in terms of dealing with some of the emotional issues around decluttering and I bring the more practical tips about how to actually do the decluttering. So it's a great course. I think that you'll get a lot of value out of it. It's linked down below. You can find more information about that in the description box. So if you liked this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I share videos here every week about organizing and decluttering your home and adopting a minimalist mindset. Talk to you soon.